we've been living our fairly normal life with a heat pump for over four years now. Heating our Victorian terrace that's got double glazing, it's got loft insulation, it's got a modern extension, but it's a fairly standard house. And over those four years, I've had loads of conversations about what life is really like with a heat pump. And there tend to be a few talking points that regularly come up. So yeah, heat pumps don't work in old homes. Heat pumps are noisy. Heat pumps aren't as efficient as you think they are. Heat pumps cost loads to run. I try to make these videos to dispel some of those myths. First of all, about our heat pump in our Victorian terrace that sat less than a metre from our back door that we don't notice when it's running, that runs at an efficiency of around 325 to 350% over the whole year, that probably costs a little bit less to run than a gas boiler if a gas boiler was providing a similar comfort. But you know what, uh, why believe me, we're just one example of a heat pump. Maybe we got lucky, maybe we got unlucky, maybe our heat pump could be working much better than it does. And there's more and more people get heat pumps over the country with MCS, the Micro Generation Certification Scheme, now having over 280,000 registered heat pumps as I record this video, including nearly 40,000 installations so far this year. More and more people will be having conversations about life with a heat pump. More and more lessons learned, more and more tips, more and more data that dispels myths, answers questions, explains what a heat pump really is. And for some people, word of mouth from a trusted family member, trusted friends or trusted neighbour will be really important on their journey of getting a heat pump. But for others, they might need to see cold hard facts and data to cut through all the noise. And you know what? That's what this video is about. Data about heat pumps. Are you as excited as I am? So where can we get our hands on trusted data about heat pumps? If only there was a resource that would give other examples of heat pumps working in a variety of homes and working well. Maybe if there was like a league table of heat pump performance that could give people confidence in heat pumps working all over the country. Well, it turns out that is exactly that. With a wonderful for data nerds like me resource called Heat Pump Monitor. So Heat Pump Monitor is a website that details the performance of, of over 150 heat pumps based on data from heat and electricity meters installed with a heat pump. The site lists locations, heat pump manufacturing size, uh, the installer, the home insulation level, the type of home, the floor area, and the cost to run a heat pump. It basically ticks all the boxes as to almost all the questions people might have when it comes to heat pump operation in the UK. So let's have a little search around the site to see what it says. But before we jump in, if you're watching this video and you want to see more of my videos about the low carbon transition in the future, why don't you hit subscribe so you're ready for when my videos come out in the coming weeks and months. Okay, back to Heat Pump Monitor. First of all, the front page uh, is a lead table to, uh, about heat pump efficiency, known as top of the cops, I love it. Look at that top one. A ground source heat pump in mid Wales with a seasonal performance factor, a metric for efficiency of 5.7. So for every one kilowatt hour of electricity used, 5.7 kilowatt hours of heat is delivered. Next up is an air source heat pump in the Netherlands with an efficiency of five. Actually the same size and manufacturer as our heat pump, a Valen Aerotherm Plus, five kilowatts. We've then got heat pumps from Riello and Wiesman, Nibi, Samsung, Ideal. Loads of Valence, Mitsubishi, Grant, Daikin, and a bunch of others. Each of them reporting data on efficiency for the last year. So let's have a closer look at the kind of data that they are reporting. Let's pick a heat pump a bit like mine and see how much better we could have had it. So here is one by an installer who makes YouTube videos. You may have seen Simon from Urban Plum Plumbers. Simon's done a video about this heat pump on heat pump monitor over on his channel. My own heat pump is finally up and running. It only took a year of careful planning. And you can see over the last 12 months, the kilowatt hours of electricity used to power the heat pump and the kilowatt hours of heat that have been generated by that system. Looking at the data with each dot being the average efficiency on a given day, the purple line, the outdoor air temperature over the year, 
And if we toggle some of the settings, we can see the efficiency for heating only, for hot water, or for the overall efficiency for the whole life of this system. And this Aerotherm Plus seems to be getting a significant amount more heat out for the same electricity than our system. At an SPF of 4.8 or a cop of 4.8, at the price cap tariff of 26.35 pence per kilowatt hour, this would be costing 5.5 pence per kilowatt hour of heat delivered to run. At, at our efficiency, uh, or our SPF of around 3.25, it would be costing just over eight pence per kilowatt hour to run, nearly 50% higher, which isn't great. So let's have a look a bit more on the cost tab on heat pump monitor. On this site, we see a wide range of heat pumps that are actually really cheap to run. And if we compare to a 90% efficient gas boiler at the price cap, which would cost about seven pence per kilowatt hour of heat delivered to run, we can see that there are dozens of heat pumps that are significantly cheaper to run than a gas boiler. And actually this is before we think about, first of all, time of use tariffs or heat pump specific tariffs or heat pumps supported by solar PV and battery storage. Those things could easily make heat pumps even cheaper to run. There are also some heat pumps that are a similar cost to gas and some that are more expensive than gas at the price cap. And having this data can help us understand what's making the difference. Is it the type of heat pump or the type of house? Or is it the installer making the biggest difference to an efficiency figure and therefore to costs? There is plenty of information within the heat pump monitor site and I won't go through it all. Um, I'll leave you to look at that uh, in your own time. But what this site gives us is a set of examples of heat pump systems that perform well over, over winter, over the whole year, many of which are performing better than our system here in Durham and performing better all over the country. Uh, for me, it's an incredible resource that gives the evidence that heat pumps work in a variety of settings. I don't have my heat pump on this site because I didn't have the open energy monitor equipment installed as part of our installation. We had probably similar equipment, but not connected to the site. Because my, my installation was part of a, the energy system catapult project called the Electrification of Heat Project. The data from that project has actually been brought into a similar format, not live, but the data from that short project for Heat Pump Monitor. And from the list here, here I can't quite work out which one is mine, uh, as either the postcode or the size mustn't have been entered correctly. But you can see that there are a number of heat pumps installed four or five years ago that were part of the project that ours was part of that performed really well, um, and some that performed less well. But overall, there is a huge amount of interesting and valuable data on this site. Um, and having this, this level of monitoring, uh, this type and level of monitoring isn't really needed for every heat pump installation. But if we're really looking to optimize heat pump systems, getting into this level of detail can be really useful. Actually, it's essential. Although it would, ask, it would add a bit of cost to a system installation. Through the Heat Pump Monitor sister site, Open Energy Monitor, you see all the kit that would be needed to set up a heat pump system, um, as well as actually other low com technology like solar monitoring and, and other, other pieces as well. On the site uh, that goes with Heat Pump Monitor, the team behind Heat Pump Monitor provides some detailed analysis into the data that they've received over the last few years and the lessons they've learned from that data, including some heat pump thermodynamics and the theory behind that, as well as what they think is best practice from an installation perspective. So this site is a great resource if you're looking into installing heat pumps or trying to optimize your, your installation or improve your existing heat pump performance. So have a dig around to, to all the information, all the articles. There's a lot of interesting data and a lot of lessons learned to get stuck into. The people behind this site include Glyn Hudson, who has a number of videos about heat pump his own heat pump installations on YouTube, uh, as well as an EV camper van road trip. Um, so that's fun to look into. As well as Tristan Lee, who I think has been on some of the Heat Geek videos, as well as a wider team over in North Wales. Overall, I think this is an incredibly valuable resource. And I'm sure that there's lots of lessons learned through monitoring a wide range of systems through their system. So hats off to the whole team. I hope you found that, in that video interesting and if you've got this far, thank you for watching.